In this video, we describe how to work with DB2 Backup and Recovery. Backing up data is vital for businesses. Loss of information can cause a major crisis. Or worse, lead to business failure. Common problems that can be encountered are a system outage, power failure, hardware failure, transaction failure, users may inadvertently corrupt the database, media failure, this drive becomes unusable, disaster, database facility damage by fire, flooding, or other catastrophe. DB2 backup and recovery methods are designed to help you keep your information safe. This is the agenda for this presentation. If you need more details about this topic, refer to this supporting material. Chapter 11, Backup and Recovery of the Book, Getting Started with DB2 Express, 3rd Edition. And Lesson 10 of the db2university.com course DB2 Academic Training. Let's start with an overview of backup and recovery in this figure. We briefly talk about backup, restore, and roll forward commands, and the concept of transaction logs. In the timeline shown, let's say at time T1, you issue the backup command to make a copy of your database, then users continue working and the information about their activities is kept. At all times in transaction logs, at time T2, there is a problem which damages the database. So at time T3, you issue a restore command using the backup image you took. At time T1, this will allow you to get your database back. However, the backup image does not include the information between time T1 and T2. Therefore, you need to apply the transaction. Logs for this period, using the roll forward command, you can apply the committed transactions to the restore database and return almost to the point just before the crash happened. We discuss each of these concepts in more detail in the next slides.